Hello everyone. Welcome in another video tutorial on Power Automate Robotic Process Automation. I am Saurabh Jain and today is a very exciting topic sending dynamic emails via Gmail from Excel email list. So idea is we have uh, scores of students in Excel sheet and we want to send them individually personalized email that to have scored this much marks. Let's see that Excel file which is available. I have kept this in a score list. My Excel file is a score list in which I have name, email and a score. Fine. So I want to send this mail personal score. Let's make I take off one more. I say you are a B H Saurabh. B H O L is Victoria. And yes, this is another email I am adding and say score is 88. Fine. So this is the file. So now what I want to do is from I want a process in which this Excel is opened up and we have from two to eight rows. We have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven email address. So first free row is ninth. Fine. The first free cell is ninth and we want to lose till eight. So we want to sell all the losers from second to eight. Fine. So where's two to eight computer has to find itself. So let's close this again. And we have to create a process automation to do the same. So let's open our Power Automate desktop app. So these are the flows and we want to start with new flow. Fine. So click on new flow. Let's give the name email scores. Fine. Let's create this flow. So we have a playground where we have to create the processes to read this. So as you know, first of all, we need to open our Excel file. Then only. So let's launch Excel. These are the, all the processes available. So you can see launch Excel button. Just double click. It says launch Excel. I say with a blank document. No, I have to open a document. Open the following document. Which document? Let's browse it out. score list fine so let's attach this you can make it instant visible if you disable it it will open but you will not no one will come to know fine so let make it invisible so this is a variable excel instance fine so excel instance is a variable to refer this excel sheet let's save this command so first thing has been done. We have launched the Excel. Now we want to know which is the first free cell in this Excel. Get the first free row. Double click this. So it's telling which column. Let's use the column number A. And this is the free first row column. Fine. Save. So now you have this Excel available. And number of rows, the first free row is this. Fine. So because the first free row is this, we need to subtract one to number of emails. We saw that ninth row was the free cell. So we have to, we have a data till eight, right? So let's click on variables over here. Variables. And we have to decrease the value of this variable. Decrease variable. We have to select this variable and decrease by one. Let's save it out. So we know that this has to be done. Fine. Everything is done. So now we know that we have the variable which has last cell. Now we have so much email. So we have to send each email one by one. So let's make a loop from second row to last row. Let's make a loop. 
go into loop it start from number 2 because column 1 is uh, row number 1 is heading okay so we'll start with row number 2 end by we have this variable fine and increment by 1 every time we have to increase like a2 a3 a4 a5 like this okay let's save this so we have a loop available now now we need to read the data from the excel fine so let's read data read read from excel worksheet fine just double click this now we have to read this single cell value every time we will read single cell value start column the start column has to be which one a and start row has to be start row has to be loop index this is loop index because every time the row will change so let me uh, i'll just walk you through once again let's select this loop index and say this has to be excel data look this is a column in excel a we have names right and in uh, b we have emails and c we have scores so i'll use the start column number a and let's rename this data as name data that will help me to understand let me save it out so every time this will be used in the name data the new name will come fine let's copy this and again paste double click it out now this time we have to read the data from b which is our email data let's rename this email data save fine let copy it again and paste this time it will be column number c and let my variable be score data score data fine so we have saved so we have read the data so every time we read every time this loop will execute it will be like first a2 b2 c2 then a3 b3 c3 like this fine so this data is ready now we have to send an email so let's click our email option click on send email you have this so let me write my email id from this is my email id send us this pin name saurabh jain to in to i have to write the this email data so every time the email will change subject your excel score fine your excel score body in body now we have to personalize hi now use this click to put as a name data hi name data your score is now you can say your score data so your score is your score data fine and you can say all the best regards www dot b i dash a n a l y p i c s dot o r g fine if you have attachments say images also or certificates you can even attach that but we'll do it later on let's say smtp server so because we are sending from gmail so it will be smtp dot gmail dot com port will be four sixty five it is gmail setting enable ssl ss server authentication yes now let me add my username and password of gmail and my password 
one thing is important that in our Google account, we have to make allow less secure apps to be true. Then only we'll be able to send this mail. Fine. And this has to be done. So everything done. Let's save it out. So this is our process has been set up. What we have done? Launch Excel, get the first free row, subtract one from the row. Now read the data loop by loop. So let me tell you once again, what is this? This every time value variable produces loop index. So loop index will be first two, then three, then four, five, six, seven like this. Okay, save. So what we say? Loop index. So start row is A2, A3, A4 like this. Okay, save. So this is our process automation ready. Now we can say save. Okay. Now we can. One more thing is we can close the Excel file. Close Excel. Do not save document. Save. Oh, it has come at inside the loop. We have to keep it outside the loop. Fine. So this is our process automation entire ready. Now let's run this. The process is started. Sending email. Now again sending email. Again sending email. Again sending email. So look, if there are 100 emails, it is doing the manual process for you. But yes, it is doing. The process has been completed. Now let me open my email to check. See this one. Let me open Chrome and see that I received the email. Last one was mine. Gmail.com. Your Excel score. I got the email. Hi, Saurabh Pulia. Your score is 88. All the best. Regards, pi org. So it was very easy. And when I was talking about this, uh, what we say, you can check this manage your Google account. In this, there is a security. In this, you will say less secure apps on. This has to be done for sending from Gmail. Fine. So this is how we automated the score, sending scores to student process. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, join us on bi-analytics.org. We have a specific club created for Power Automate. So we'll be sharing lots of examples over there. If you have any automate process that you want to do, you can write in the comment. Sure. And make sure to subscribe our channel. Thank you.